before the 1920s and into the 1920s, there was a big issue about where architecture was going to go. Everybody knew it was going away from Victorian and French classicism, but it wasn't clear where it was going. Needless to say, she was there at the exact moment when big changes took place. She presented herself as absolutely tyrannical. She was very uncompromising and had absolutely no other life than what she was doing. It was Miss Riggs, by the way. People who called her Mrs. Riggs, she would slap them right down. She'd say, I've never been married and it's a mess. Her gift as an architect was her gift for a sense of proportion that was uncanny. Her rooms had a feel to them that were absolutely right. Simple buildings, simple appearance, and where the portions of the building were more important than any other aspect. She had a lot to do with the way Santa Barbara looked. She was not only committed to it as an architect, but also as very active publicly. I never heard her ever discuss an alternative to architecture. Somehow, she latched onto that idea at a very young age, and she stayed with it all her life. It was just what she did. Her later work is probably a pretty pure form of what she thought architecture should be doing. She didn't change her architectural tact at all. An extremely loyal person, had very deep friendships. She never politicized her speech. She was very direct. She was more in the trenches. She very much, whether she intended it or not, became a model. And I think that's something that people need to know. Thank you.